are skinning into the high peaks of the Adirondacks, specifically uh, right ski trail at the moment. Um, and it's getting pretty windy, but the bigger problem of the day is actually the nice warm sun. All the snow that was in the trees is melting, making it below the tree line, it basically feels like it's raining. What that does is saturate all the powder snow and it makes this really wet consolidated snowpack that we're skinning up and, and it's becoming very clumpy. It's sticking to the bottom of the skins and it's making it very difficult and very heavy. Oh yeah. God, it's so annoying. Ethan actually really does love it. He likes the challenge. Oh, you're so close. Am I? Come on. Yeah, like an inch. Be cool. Bend those knees and scoot. Oh, you gotta. We got some people trailing us now. <laughs> oh, got it. You got it. So close. So close. <laughs> How are we gonna snowboard under this? <laughs> yeah! Oh, he's got it. He did it. That's how you do it. Jesus. It's so fun. Are you having the most fun? So fun. As soon as I saw the actual peak, I knew that I wanted to at least try to get there. Here's where we are. Ugh. All right, what's up, boys? Uh, hey, feeling good. We just got to the top of um, the right ski trail. I honestly didn't think it would be that difficult. I didn't think the winds would be blowing that hard. It was pretty intense. As soon as we started going towards, like, towards the summit, 50, 20, 50 feet from where we were, it was just no go. It was, it was wild. By far the windiest place I've ever been. I don't think it's I'm gonna turn! Follow me back! We probably hiked, I don't even know, not even a football field in length before we all kind of stood there just playing in the wind and decided that. We're not gonna make it to the other side. We're not climbing that ridge line to the top today. Whoa! I'm definitely content knowing that we at least gave it a shot. And I think it's a good thing to know that we have limits in place and that we all agree on those limits. Uh, so it turned into just roping up, trying to practice rope technique, uh, snowboarding with really large heavy packs. We did get to turn around from there and snowboard down from the top of the trail. That's not too bad. Hey, you, yeah, there you are. Hey. That's not too bad. That's not too bad. Not too bad! <laughs> That's 
It's just so fun. Yeah. I would have I gone straight into you. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm good. I just sm slammed that rock. <laughs> All good. I just didn't want to slam into your back. I appreciate that. <laughs> So we're doing this to uh, to practice for climbing Denali and split boarding Denali this coming June. Ooh. Can you explain to me what happened back there? Well, I was going through a proper avoidance technique that we were taught in our um, proper avoidance class before we came out here to the high peaks. And unfortunately, we had our dear friend Ethan. He had fallen, he couldn't get up. He was right in the middle of the trail. And I was, it was unavoidable. <laughs> Completely unavoidable. Oh, it's ridiculous. So the nose of my board slammed into the side of his tailboard, and I went down, the board went flying. Almost hit his face. The board oh. almost slashed his face. He would have looked something like the Joker. Yeah. Which he would have just taken the side of his cheek off. Yo, I got these scars. <laughs> He's already pretty pissed. <laughs> Ryan didn't avoid me.